a registration desk where Arshad, who is our volunteer, our co-organizer, is giving a briefing to his team. How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. Super excited. It's the first time we're having this event in Panchkini and it's at Hotel Ravine and it is going to be a fantastic event. I'm feeling great and excited. Yeah, I'm just waiting for everything to start now. Today we have uh, organizations from all over the, the region of Panchkali and Mahabaleshwa. I want you just to have a look around to see that only the speakers and the team that's around here right now is working. It's all last minute, everyone's struggling, getting it ready and, um, and ready to go. So fingers crossed. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about democratizing the individual. You know, to learn from the past can make you think about the uh, future. Change is the only constant. Uh, and it is possible to make money doing what you love. Um, or you don't have to be an engineer or a doctor if you don't want to. Scientists are alerting us that by the year 2050, 5 0, 70% of people employed, they will do jobs that are not even invented yet. There's a lot of talk about how, you know, there's a lot of bad that happens around the internet. I think there's a lot of good that happens, that comes out of the fact that we're connected. Where was the food that you had for lunch grown? Geographically, do we know where it was grown? Do we know who grew it? Do we know if chemicals were used to grow that food? And if they were used, which chemicals and how many chemicals? Irfan Pabhani, jiske naam sunte hi aa jata hai muh mein pani, idhar aa jao meri jaan. The food that I do predominantly is uh, very western. We're doing a pan-seared ravas with a curried uh, cream sauce. Um, we're doing a fenugreek risotto with brown rice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy lunch. It's not about, uh, just about uh, playing marbles or uh, spinning tops either. Think about all those games that we played as children. And you'll agree that we are talking about some important and uh, serious life skills and uh, personality development lessons here. Lessons like uh, team building, leadership, and development of a sense of healthy competition and a sportsmanship spirit. Today, I'm going to talk to you about participative sport. It lies on the other end of the spectrum in the sporting canvas. So you have spectatorial sport and you have participative sport. There is a certain characteristic in each one of us. There's some uniqueness in each one of us. There's some values in each one of us. And that is the constant. Hello everybody. Today I'll be actually sharing with you a story that started 5,000 years ago. Yes, uh, it is the story of metal casting in India. We have the potential to create the change. So let's be proactive and try to make a change rather than just be a reaction to it. That's the idea I want to share here today. The power of no. 
our brain works in such a way that at any given point of time, if you are going to make a decision, you saying yes is 99% out of your control. But you saying no is in your control. Tanvi has done, Tanvi has really been at it, you know, she's just so amazing. And Tanvi, wave your hands at us. It's a unique experience for me. The talks that are over here are absolutely inspiring. I'm really, really humbled for being part of this. We've enjoyed every bit of it. And it's really a pleasure to be here. So I think it's an incredible experience. I will request the organizers to organize it every year.